Hello everybody, this is Rudra Pradhan here. Welcome to Engineering Econometrics. Today, we will discuss model diagnostics and that to specific highlights on model specification and that to how to choose the set of independent variables. We have gone through so many lectures and the best the idea behind this particular modeling is to have input choice and then with the help of input choice we will build a model and have the estimated outcomes and with the help of estimated outcomes we will go for uh, management uh, kind of you know a requirement that to how to go for you know ma good management decision. Uh, we have gone through various process starting with the kind of you know input requirement, the kind of you know processing, then and the kind of you know delivery that is the uh, output and uh, uh, before you use the kind of you know uh, estimated output for the uh, decision making process. So, we like to check the diagnostics and we have uh, gone through various diagnostics last couple of lectures starting with the specification test, uh, goodness fit test, then the issue of multicollinearity, the issue of autocorrelation, the issue of heteroscedacity. So, likewise we have gone through various you know which uh, or various components through which we can uh, uh, we can declare that the particular outcome or particular you know uh, model is good for the uh, decision making process. But still there are a couple of things we are supposed to highlight again or, uh, or we like to address again uh, before we declare that this model is uh, good for the decision making process. That's uh, that's we are here for the you know lectures. That's we will discuss model specification specifically. What about model specification altogether? Uh, if it is model specification means uh, li the literary meaning is model should be correctly specified. If not, then there is a kind of you know misspecifications. So now uh, the question is, what are the ways we can get this kind of you know misspecification? If the model is misspecified, then that cannot be used for the kind of you know model building or the kind of you know decision making. Even uh, it it passes through all these diagnostics, still we cannot you know use this model for the decision making process. By the way, if model is correct, model is not correctly specified. That means it is misspecified. Then uh, the model cannot pass through all these you know checks. Uh, it may have some kind of you know problem in between because uh, the misspecified model has lots of you know bias. As a result, there is a high chance the standard error of the estimates will be very high, and uh, in the first instance, the uh, parameters will not be statistically significant. So it will uh, it will affect uh, you know uh, many ways uh, before you use this model for the prediction and the kind of you know forecasting. So, uh, what we like to uh, you know discuss here that you know we like to find out what are the ways we can uh, declare that this model is misspecified and then again so we like to check what are the ways we can actually correct this misspecification and then finally, we declare that this model is good for the you know decision making process. So, the first instance uh, you know the kind of you know number of independent variables since we are dealing with you know uh, multivariate structures uh, every times you know means till till date we we are discussing you know one dependent variable with a series of independent variables so the series of uh, when there is a question of series of independent variables starting with you know one independent variable two independent variables and it may be 20 independent variables it may be 30 independent variables so one of the particular requirement in this extension that your sample size should be substantially very high. So, if it is actually one dependent with one independent, then the sample size may be small. Then, when the a particular model you know involves one dependent with a 20 independent variable, then uh, uh, in the similar way, the sample size should increase uh, you know as per the increase of you know in number of independent variables. That is the first end requirement. So, we can we can actually 
you know number of ways we can increase the number of independent variables and then uh, we can you know uh, create a multivariate system uh, because uh, uh, having more number of independent variables in the system the model building or the kind of you know model forecasting is very in many instances it will be very accurate but in the same times so the uh, the the kind of you know misspecification should not be there so in the in the first hand uh, misspecification means either the model is actually under identified or the model will be over identified if it is not misspecified then this is called as you know correct specifications then that in that case uh, it's called as you know the model is exactly identified otherwise there is a question of you know under uh, under identifications or in you know, a kind of you know over identification in both the cases uh, there will be a issue of bias and as a result model cannot pass through the, you know diagnostic check and as a result this model cannot be used for decision making process whatever may be the engineering problem but uh, uh, if the estimated output will be having or the estimated model is, is having actually misspecification then we should not use this model for any kind of you know decision making process so the first issue is actually the number of independent variables that should be very optimum and the way we will fix that should be correctly specified and that, that is how it is called as you know exactly identify, but it is very difficult sometimes to get the a exact number of variables which can be used for the decision making process, but uh, 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 we will try our level best to find out the optimum numbers that is how the econometric modeling is all about. So, uh, you, we may have a different problems or different kind of you know, issues. So, we like to learn how this particular issue can be addressed uh, nicely, so that uh, you know uh, we can use this model for the decision making process. And the second issue is the functional form, sometimes uh, whatever you know issue of you know independent variables we may sort out, but uh, if the uh, you know the set of variables and the kind of you know functional form is not correct, then again there is a misspecification. That means, the requirement is the linear model. Uh, you know if there is the use of you know nonlinear models or vice versa can be also true so it's the requirement of you know uh, nonlinear models and we are using linear format then there is a kind of you know misspecification again in the uh, if the model is not actually linear so it may be it may be exponential form it may be logarithmic form it may be a quadratic form so there are many different ways uh, if the model requirement is excess uh, you know uh, let us say exponential and uh, we are using quadratic then again there is a chance of you know misspecification that means there are many different ways uh, you know we can again declare misspecification that too with respect to uh, functional form then the third is the form of the stochastic error term. So, the error term declaration should be you know as per the best you know kind of you know requirement and the identification it should not be used uh, for some kind of you know uh, uh, you know uneven a kind of you know situation where the variables may be identified, but you know we are we are you know unnecessarily we are saying that you know this can be taken care of by error term. So, like that you know so there are many different ways we can actually check the misspecification that is with respect to independent variable that uh, then the functional form then that uh, with respect to the error term. So, these are all the you know part of the CLRM that is the classical linear regression modeling and the specification error results when one of the choice is made you know incorrect in the simple in the simple way of you know understanding. So, now how will you deal with all these things? So, there are you know uh, various ways we can declare uh, first we start with you know uh, omitted variables. So, that means that is actually a under identification situation uh, there are lots of variables which are actually very useful, but uh, uh, you know unfortunately that is not in the system and the reverse is also true uh, uh, the variable is not so important, but it is included into the system. So, important variable which is excluded in the model and uh, you know not important, but included in the model. So, both the cases the situation is misspecification. So, we have to be very careful how we have to declare and how you have to identify all these things. So, two reasons why an important explanatory variable might have been left out. Sometimes we, for, we forget 
sometimes we may not have knowledge, sometimes it, it is not available in uh, uh, as per the actually data set. Sometimes we can identify the variables, but data is not available. Sometimes data is available, but there is some kind of you know a large missing observation or something like that. So, there are many ways we can actually skip a particular variable and uh, uh, in, in whatever may be the case, but ultimately the end result is the misspecification. So, what is the uh, uh, you know requirement ultimate requirement? The ultimate requirement is uh, we try we try our level best to have you know less misspecifications or at best we can say that you know it should be correctly specified. Uh, of course, it is very difficult to say that you know these are the only group of variable which can influence the dependent variable or this is the only functional form which can have the best for the decision making. It is very difficult to say, but still we will try our level best by checking all these things we can simply declare that you know yes this model is correctly specified that too with respect to number of variables involvement and the functional form and the kind of you know uh, uh, the, uh, the involvement of the stochastic term. So, either way uh, you know whatever you know situation may be and uh, uh, these are all lead to omitted variables bias and in, in total it is called as a specification bias. The, the reason for this is that you know when variable is not included it cannot be you know held constant. So, that is how the kind of you know issue in the system. So, omitting a real you know useful variable usually is evidence that the entire equation is a suspect because of the likely bias of the coefficients. So, that means, if the important variable is not there in the system and that will you know um, have a multiple doubts whether the functional form is you know wrong or whether the sample size is actually not optimum. So, there are many different ways we can actually you know uh, you can think but ultimately the solution means uh, everything can be correctly specified if the optimum number of variables in the system. That means, the uh, most of the important variables should not be excluded whatever may be the reason. So, as a researcher, as an analyst you, you must ensure that you know all the important variables to, to predict the dependent variables should be in the system whatever may be the wage or whatever may be the cost. So, that should be in the system otherwise in the first instance the model will be you know misspecified and if the model is misspecified there is no need to go through all the diagnostic altogether because it definitely it will affect somewhere. If the model is in the first instance correctly specified then you can go through all the diagnostic that is that is what the understanding is all about otherwise you know uh, you, you have to just you know uh, go through lots of iterative process and in a continuous process then ultimately you may not get the good result as per your you know uh, particular requirement and what again whatever may be the your, you know engineering problem. So, I will just let you know what is the consequence of you know omitted variable uh, obviously the bias will be very high. So, let us uh, let us start with the uh, you know issue that you know the variable is a, a kind of you know correctly not in, in, there is you no know, correct specification. So, we start with a simple regression that is what here actually a two independent variable x 1 and x 2 and the dependent variable y i and, uh, and this is what the error term. Let us assume that x 2 is omitted then the uh, then the equation will be reduced to bivariate only that is y i equal to beta 0 and beta x 1 i and uh, obviously, when we are omitting a particular variable we assume that you know or we, we you know we can say that you know this impact will be taken care by the error term. So, explanatory variable in the estimated regression are not independent of the error term. So, that is how the kind of you know issue. So, unless the omitted variable is uncorrelated with all the included variables something which is very unlikely and that that is what actually the issue of you know classical linear regression modeling that means technically it violates. So, if it is violates this kind of you know conditions, so this model cannot be used for the kind of you know decision making process. So, that is the uh, kind of you know requirement. So, ultimately so we need to we need to check all these details before you go for this you know. Uh, use and the kind of you know, requirement. 
and again uh, I, we like to know what is the ultimate consequence of omitted variables which I have already pointed out. So, uh, when there is a omitted variables then there is a high chance that you know the particular models means the estimated model will not pass through blue theorem that is what called as you know best linear unbiased estimators. So, in the first instance the parameters will not be completely unbiased that is what he, uh, we have written. So, if, if the case is like this if the expected value of a parameter is not exactly equal to true value of the parameter then that means technically there is a bias if, if that is equal to true value then there is a no bias. So, the difference will be exactly equal to 0 and that itself will create you know lots of you know issue in the in the model building and the kind of you know decision making process. So, we have to be very careful how we have to deal with, with all these situations and then coming with a kind of you know right, right choice which can you know use for the model building. So, correcting a, you know the omitted variable bias. So, that means ultimately a, you know these are the issues always there. So, now uh, you know how you can actually correct this particular error. So, uh, you can go through theory uh, because the theory itself will give you lots of you know hints what are the variables uh, should be in the system before you use that model for the you know decision making process because the problem identification the variables you know uh, identifications all are actually derived from the theory. That is why in a kind of you know research investigations. So, the first requirement of this particular you know engineering econometrics that you you should go through you know uh, literature review. So, literature review will give you enough exposures to understand this problem to identify the variables and the kind of you know uh, uh, expectations uh, the kind of you know nature that is the impact of a particular variable. So, theory will give you sufficient you know clues uh, you know by uh, what we can say logical kind of you know connections and then the you know, theoretical kind of you know hint. So, uh, the, that will be actually you know um, the means you can say that that is the best through which you can uh, start the process and then finally, you can check the omitted variable uh, issues then come into the a particular you know setup where correct model is correctly specified. So, uh, what is happening the omitted variables bias is hard to detect sometimes because you know uh, uh, it is a very difficult to say that you know which variable uh, you know ultimately very important until unless you check in the particular you know process ultimately we will we'll say that you know uh, this is this is the variable which is more significant or you know more important. So, theoretically you may get some kind of you know guess, but uh, uh, in the statistical uh, you know kind of you know output should also very supportive. Sometimes there is a high chance th and the theoretical you know expectation is something and data speaks something different. So, it may be due to actually omission of a particular you know important variables or it may be due to you know uh, uneven samp uh, sampling. So, that means, the size of sample may not goes or it may be bias sampling sometimes for instance uh, you know if, if it is not you know randomly selected and not actually in a kind of you know different atmospheres then that will give you some kind of you know bias and that will be, that will be also uh, you know question of you know omitted variable bias. So, you must be very careful how you have to deal with all these you know issues. Uh, even if it has been decided that a given equation is suffering from omitted variable bias and then question is how to decide exactly which variable to be included. Of course, uh, we have already discussed this issue in the multicolority problem. So, when actually means multicolority problem usually the issue of you know over -identi identification and sometimes also it may be due to under identification because uh, when some variables are not significant then there is a high chance that you know there is a chance of you know multicolority. And one way of you know uh, solving multicolinearity, you drop the you know the variable which is actually collinear in nature. And sometimes, if you you know add a particular new variable, which may actually uh, you know uh, affect the particular you know link, and then finally there is a possibility that you know all variables finally can be significant. So uh, so the, this actually you know kind of you know again iterative process until unless you check and you know the kind of you know 
uh, estimate, re-estimate, revisit. So, you cannot get the exact you know situation and the kind of you know requirement. So, uh, ultimately uh, it is actually a, hit, a kind of you know uh, trial mechanism. So, every time you have to check and you know report, every time you have to check and report like this. Then finally, you will come to a point where you know the model is correctly specified and that can be used for the uh, you know decision making process. So, sometimes uh, you have an unexpected results that is uh, usually actually uh, happens. It may be due to actually very good sampling or you know very huge sampling or it may be due to you know low sample size. Sometimes the loss sample size may give you a know, better result, but uh, but the reality will be a, you know coming into the picture when you will increase you know more number of samples in the kind of you know uh, setup. So ultimately, so you it is you know your job to check and you know uh, see the kind of you know problem, and then think how we can actually remove these problems and come with a kind of you know solution where the model is free from all kind of you know errors and that to specifically the misspecification bias. So, that is uh, you know very much you know important and uh, so sometimes uh, the other problem may be actually because of you know misspecification the sign of a particular variable. So, I mean that means the nature of a particular variable may be getting affected uh, because once the, the important variable will be included then the nature of the variables which can be very supportive as per the theoretical you know you know uh, hint or the kind of you know logical kind of you know flow. Uh, otherwise, if the model is correctly specified whatever you know theoretical uh, you know hint is coming or logical issues are coming. So, your you know estimated models that means, the output which will which is derived from the data will be very very much you know consistent. If that is not the case then this may be this may be a problem for again you know the kind of you know uh, reliability and that to uh, simply it affects the diagnostics a kind of you know uh, requirement and uh, as a result you cannot use this model for the decision making process. So, uh, and the other issue is actually uh, the, uh, the earlier issue is the uh, under identification case. Now, uh, sometimes the useless variable, I cannot say useless, but uh, uh, irrelevant variables may not be actually used in the system. So, which the variable which is very essential should be included, the variable which is not at all essential or not at all important should not be included into the system. So, ultimately because you know uh, yes in the one, one side we need actually more number of variable to predict the thing dependent variable which is actually the high requirement. In the same times, so unnecessary variables should not be in the system, otherwise it will affect the entire system drastically. So, there is high chance the particular you know uh, uh, you know uh, 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 unnecessary variables may be affecting the entire you know system. So, the moment you will drop that particular variable which can affect the system perfectly. For instance, uh, you know if the variable is having actually collinearity with you know other variables then simply you can drop that one. So, uh, that is how multi is uh, all about. So, multi will tell you the, the kind of requirement that you know yes uh, this is the over identified ad identification case and this variable is actually uh, unnecessary that may be dropped actually. If you drop that particular variable then by default model will be correctly specified and all the diagnostic checks can be passed through. So, if the unnecessary variable in the systems then this may affect the entire you know model outcomes and as a result it will actually block some else and as a result you cannot use again for the decision making process. So, what is the question uh, here like this? So, some of the uh, here the actually error term is just you know uh, uh, the kind of you know in the earlier case it was actually included the uh, uh, later case it is actually excluded. For instance, you see here this error terms. So, so, we are having actually plus signs if you are saying that you know this is actually omitted variable then we will add this one and that will uh, you know in the error terms. But in this case the kind of you know unnecessary variable case. So, the particular question will be actually subtracted. So, that means, we, we declare that you know this is actually out of the error terms and then uh, we will go ahead with the estimation process 
and I am very sure this will be this will be you know uh, okay for the kind of you know model building and the kind of you know uh, decision making process. So, uh, uh, so uh, the issue is that you know if unnecessary variable will be included into the system, uh, uh, there is a high chance that the parameters all the parameters will not be statistically significant. That means all the variables will not be statistically significant. And by the way, the adjusted R square wh which will be getting affected. So, the flow of uh, R square is that you know when you add one after another independent variables, it will start increasing. Even if that variable is unnecessary, still uh, the R square value will start increasing because it is a mathematical way of you know uh, uh, connection. And uh, but uh, the actual fact is that you know when you add one after another variables, then the the best model can be a, you know chosen on the basis of you know uh, adjusted R squares comparisons, not the R square comparison. So, adjusted R square will adjust the degree of freedom and the variables involvement and the sample size. So, as a result, uh, so it can give a uh, give a, an indication that you know this is the kind of you know uh, omitted variable case or something like that. As a result, so the model is not correctly specified. So, ultimately either the coefficients will not be statistically significant or R square will start you know adjust R square will start decreasing. So, if I means the flow is like that uh, which we have already discussed in the multi currenty case. If you add one after another independent variables one way we are strength, uh, you are boosting the models uh, that to uh, you know predicting the dependent dependent variable because you will get more more and more pillars to you know strengthen the kind of you know uh, flow. But ultimately if if the particular you know pillar is not so important then you know the strength of this particular you know uh, pillar will get affected. So, as a result uh, you know the model cannot be used for the decision making process and uh, uh, the simple uh, you know flaw to check is that you know uh, the comparison between adjusted R squares. So, uh, let us start like you know why with you know one independent variable, why with you know uh, first independent variable, then you add another independent variable, then you check R square adjust R square adjust R square adjust R squares. Then if the variable will be actually very useful then by default R square will definitely increase, but in the same time adjust R square will be increasing. But if the uh, addition of new variables new independent variables is not you know uh, very relevant or you know uh, uh, useful then by default uh, uh, you know R square will start increasing, but adjusted R square will start you know declining you know you know significantly. But what is actually requirement how you will say that you know the particular variable is useful and in the same time model is correctly specified then in that case uh, you know uh, adjusted R square in every stage will start you know increasing in comparison with the R square increase and at the same time there, there should be actually significance of that variables because if you are saying that you know useful variable that should you know ultimately significant. Uh, that is not the actually ultimate you know or the kind of you know final choice. Uh, uh, perhaps you know the inclusion of that useful variables may not directly affect, but the uh, the presence of the involvement itself will increase the significance level of the other variables. Then how do you uh, you know observe this one so, and that the observation will be simply through adjusted square and the kind of an app statistics. If the variable is very useful not directly through indirectly also then adjusted R square by default will start increasing that is the simple signal which you can have and then we can go ahead the, pr the process. To summarize uh, effect of omitted variables or you know relevant variables on the uh, coefficient estimates. So, there are two issues here. So, first is issue is the bias and the variance. So, when there is a omitted variables then the bias obviously, it, it, it is you know bias will be obviously yes when there is a omitted variable case. So, that means, here in that case uh, most in import one one or you know few important variables are you know omitted. So, in that case uh, bias will be definitely in the system and variance uh, uh, variance you know will be decrease. So, uh, so ultimately both the both the kind of you know inference will get affected the model modeling process and as a result you may not use this model for the decision making process. 
again so this this is the case of you know uh, uh, under identification case and this is the case of you know over identification case in this case uh, some uh, unimportant variables in the systems as a result bias may not be there but you know it will increase actually a kind of you know variance when variance will in start increasing then the significance of the parameters definitely to get affected so that will again uh, you know affect the adjusted r square and the kind of nap statistic so ultimately the requirement is that you know model should not be misspecified so it there is should not be a on uh, you know kind of you know un under identification case and it should not be over identification case all uh, yes of course it's very difficult to find out such situation optimum situation but uh, we try to find out or we try our level best to have that particular you know uh, situation where there is no question of you know omitted variable case and there is no question of you know the involvement of you know irrelevant variable uh, in the system so, uh, so that is how the importance of the econometric modeling so econometric modeling or engineering econometrics will help you lot uh, to check all these things and finally come with a kind of you know situation or you know declare a model which is actually free from all errors and then finally it can be used for the decision ma making process and that to solve some of the engineering problems and uh, as per as per the particular you know organizational requirement or you know corporate requirement. So, ultimately so these are all the kind of you know case through which actually we can we can get to know what is the omitted variable case and all this. So, for important specification uh, kind of you know criteria. So, uh, you know we, we just summarize the you know whatever we have discussed till now. So, how do you check actually misspecification uh, that too with respect to under identification case where the omitted variables uh, you know issue and another case over identification where you know uh, not um, you know irrelevant variables will be involved in the process and uh, so how in this case you have to go through theory check through t statistic r squares adjust r squares bias in the system and then if all these you know conditions are you know uh, you know having then the variables belong in each equations or something like that will be getting affected drastically so uh, uh, what is the ultimate declaration that you know so you have to find out you know optimum scenario where uh, uh, the particular model will be correctly specified without any issue of you know misspecification that to omission of the relevant variable and the inclusion of you know irrelevant variables that's what the final you know kind of you know requirement which you need to check and you know ultimately declares so that means a couple of tests are there to check the misspecification. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, Ramsey, uh, uh, you know, uh, test is there which can declare that you know whether the mod model is correctly specified. Even it will really passes through all the specification tests, good goodness speed test, and the diagnostic test like you know multicollinearity, autocorrelation, heterosclerosity, and something like that. So, uh, uh, so even after doing all these things, so Ramsey test still you know can be applied uh, to declare whether the model is correctly specified as per the particular requirement and uh, that model can be used for the decision making process. So, uh, so these are the issues which you can actually frequently use to uh, you know deal with this you know uh, problem and the kind of you know, requirement and uh, so ultimately so there should not be you know any kind of you know systematic bias uh, uh, with respect to the exclusion of the important variable or kind of you know, inclusion of the uh, uh, you know unimportant variables so uh, so so uh, so we ultimately actually uh, check and you know uh, restructure the process reestimate the process till you get a kind of you know clean sheet that yes this is the final model and this is the final set of the variables and this is the final kind of you know requirement through which you can actually use this model for the a kind of you know condition making process ultimately uh, so we like to check all these kind of you know misspecifications before you actually use this model 
for the uh, management requirement or the kind of you know, engineering requirement. That means technically in the uh, in the diagnostics uh, kind of you know, sites, whatever you know diagnostic we have checked after doing all checks, so the model misspecification need to be actually checked. This is one of the very important component. Otherwise, there is a high chance that you know uh, the model will pass through all these diagnostic by you know some kind of for instance uh, uh, you cannot clean completely multicollinearity you cannot clean completely autocorrelation you cannot clean uh, completely clean the heteroscedasticity but somehow we can compromise and uh, even we will compromise and ultimately that compromise whether it is accepted or not accepted so the misspecification test can you know finally declare so even we will you know tolerate with you know kind of you know tolerance level but if the model will pass through specification test, then by default this model can be used for the decision making process. But uh, uh, in the other side, if the model actually passes through all these kind of you know, diagnostic and is uh, again in the misspecification test it is misspecified, then this model should not be used for the decision making process. So, that means there are various ways actually check, recheck, estimate, re-estimate, then finally you come to a kind of you know. Uh, final choice through which you can this model can be used for the decision making process. So, with this we will stop here. Thank you very much.